All right. Take those out and get some reverse osmosis water here. So we'll start with the Athena. And it, you know, I just have it on full, full flow. And it's gonna, it doesn't come out very quickly. That's all you get with full flow. There's no way, actually I should really pour that first glass out. There's no way that that is enough water flow for two water ionizers. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and get the giant. Let's test the Athena first since we did the tie-in first last time. And so on the left is the ORP meter and on the right is the pH. That's the Athena, and it looks like it's coming in at 10.9 or 11 in between those two. Doesn't doesn't know doesn't know how to make up its mind, I suppose. And then the so this is really good ionization for reverse osmosis water. I'm just pointing this out because this is really phenomenal that. All the bad stuff is taken out of this water and then only organic plant source minerals are put back in the uh, this uh, reverse osmosis system that I've got um, and uh, it, it's just a fantastic system made especially for water ionizers so um, it's just great and I love it I there's there's no um, fluoride, <laughs> yippee! No, uh, it, you know, no, nothing, nothing bad at all in the water. It's just all organic and plant source minerals. It's very healthy for you. All right, looks like a negative 710 it got up to. Now it's going backwards. But we can we can call it a negative 710, and then uh, let's do the tie in. Let it settle down. I love getting the uh, pH and the ORP at the same time. <laughs> That's great. And that what what a similarity between the uh, Tiant and the Athena. Wow. Almost identical. 11 pH and... So it looks like it's going to get up to negative 710. It's just incredible. Um, now, you know, these water ionizers are made so differently. The Tiant has seven plates and they're large. The Athena has five. They're just engineered differently. The Tiant uses a lot of wattage um, and, or amperage and whatnot. And the, uh, the Athena uses uh, really the smallest amount. Um, that's almost 710. I think it got up to negative 707. All right. Well, anyway, um, they're just very different. You can you can see their differences on my website. I've got them all detailed out. But um, it's just amazing that bottom line, these guys know how to make water ionizers, and they're testing out really well. So um, that's that's the level three drinking water 
quality for reverse osmosis and tap water for the Athena and the Tyant. Great information. And uh, by the way, you know, just before I go, I just want to show you this. This um, ORP meter is just so much easier, better to use. It it has a a uh, just a just this fits in the cup as opposed to the the whole thing. The uh, the Hana combo that I had, by the way, um, that has uh, it has pretty much. Uh, bit the dust and it's not working anymore and I had to get new a new meter and I didn't want to use this because it was um, you know pH and ORP at the same in the same meter I had to push a button to see one or the other now with this situation I can have uh, both probes in there at the same time and I can be seeing both readings at the same time which I think will save time, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, they still go slow, but at least you don't have to go slow for as many times. All right, there you go.